सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक अगेन एज ऑल द नाबार्ड एस्पिरेंट्स आर वेटिंग फॉर द नोटिफिकेशन ऑफ नाबार्ड ग्रेड ए एग्जाम फॉर द ईयर ऑफ ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री इन आर प्रीवियस वीडियो डिस्कशन वी गेव अ डिटेल्ड ट्रेंड एनालिसिस फॉर फेज वन ऑफ नाबार्ड ग्रेड ए एग्जाम एंड द होल कमेंट सेक्शन वॉज ओनली फिल्ड बाय वन पॉप्युलर डिमांड एंड दैट वॉज सर एज यू गेव अस अ डिटेल ट्रेंड एनालिसिस ऑफ फेज वन in similar way you also do a trend analysis for phase 2 so backed by the popular demand let's today discuss the nabard grade a phase 2 trend analysis that also in depth and in detail we already have discussed that why specifically we are doing trend analysis right first to understand how the exam pattern has been changing throughout the years as well as how the questions are asked and in the way in which the questions are asked that is being changed from the year of 2018 till the year of 2022 so kis tarah se questions change ho rahe kis tarah se exam pattern change ho raha hai ye samajhne ke liye we are doing trend analysis so let's start today's phase 2 trend analysis by just looking at the nabard phase 2 exam patterns okay so first understand in the year of 2018 2019 2020 what was phase 2 exam all about it is simple first in phase 2 exam there were two sections paper 1 and paper 2 paper 1 is called about english descriptive or general english we may call it so here answer writing is there so in this english descriptive part there are four sections essay prece reading comprehension and letter writing okay so what changed in 2021 was before 2021 in 2018 19 and 20 esi and aid mcqs were 65 number number of questions were 65 but in the year of 2021 esi and ard descriptive answer writing was also added in the phase 2 therefore the total esi and ard mcq questions were reduced from 65 to 30 questions so now after 2021 what is the pattern paper 1 that is general english again descriptive part three questions are there essay prece and letter 100 marks 90 minutes paper 2 economic and social issues and ard which is included in this part only descriptive type six question are given che question me se aapko you have to write any four questions okay so it's very simple first three questions would be from ard next three questions would be from esi the first question would be of course compulsory for 15 marks the next two questions would be for 10 marks again for the next esi section the first question would be compulsory next two questions would be for 10 marks so compulsory questions of course that is compulsory you have to solve it and out of the rest of the two questions you can pick any one question and solve it out of 6 you have to solve any four similarly objective questions are also there 30 15 questions from ard 15 from esi in each ard and esi 10 questions for 2 marks and 5 questions for 1 mark total karoge to 50 marks from the mcq part and descriptive is again for 50 marks okay 30 minutes mcq timing and you have to finish the descriptive part in 90 minutes the total change in the exam pattern was from 2021 why simple esi ard descriptive answer writing was added here and the mcqs previously which were of esi and ard 65 numbers they reduced to 30 numbers okay so this is overall the nabard phase 2 exam pattern understand paper 1 paper 2 पेपर वन में जनरल इंग्लिश जनरल इंग्लिश में ऐसे प्रेसि लेटर रीडिंग कॉम्प्रेंशन पेपर टू में ठीक है तो ये ओवरऑल आपका पैटर्न हो गया देन कम्स द कट ऑफ वाई आई एम शोइंग यू द कट ऑफ दिस इज अ ट्रेंड एनालिसिस ओके बट टू ऑब्जर्व वन थिंग इज दैट इफ यू लुक एट द कट ऑफ एक्चुअली इफ यू लुक एट द कट ऑफ वेरी वेरी केयरफुली See, after 2021, after 2021, the cutoffs have been dropped. So why this drop was there in the number of cutoff? पहले तो cutoff बहुत high था. The cutoff was high. Now why the cutoff has dropped? This is because, of course, ESI and ARD descriptive answer writing pattern change was there. It was added in the year of 2021, as well as the difficulty of the exam also increased. Difficulty of the exam. Also increase difficulty exam की क्या थी वो बढ़ गई okay so now 
this thing after understanding this thing we have understood that the change in exam pattern the change in exam pattern after 2021 has also result into the change in the number of selections and the change in the cutoffs also so that we are going to see through our trend analysis so the we will start our phase 2 trend analysis with paper 1 general english okay and that the first part is essay okay so in 2018 look at the essay topics which are asked we will cover topic and section by section by section and in each section we will see what topics are there and then we will try to understand how the exam pattern is changed how the way of the questions that has been asked that has changed okay the tone of the question has changed as well as what is the overall analysis of the total question or the total exam pattern throughout the years so 2018 here hai aapke samne all the essay topics look at the essay topics very very carefully you will understand see here agriculture rural development and its connection with innovation main problems faced by developing country countries in rural areas microfinance doubling farmers income ground water depletion and animal husbandry and dairy now one thing i get from these all essay topics is these all essay topics are asked in form of questions matlab yahan par aapko these are direct essay topics the questions are asked in the sense how agriculture and rural development can be improved through innovation here you don't need to give any analysis here you don't need to give thesis antithesis ye kuch bhi dene ki aapko zarurat nahi hai this is a plain direct essay topic you just have to show that how through innovation you can improve agriculture and rural development so it's just a discussion based essay all the topics of 2018 essay are in similar fashion okay now let us see what has changed in 2019 and 2020 look at these topics right now okay for 2019 and 2020 if you see the topics impact of demonetization cricket as as an immense popularity in india post harvest losses and role of roads in promoting economic development similarly digitalization se related uh ek essay 2020 mein and look at the statement here the tone of the essay here that is internet a luxury or it is a basic right similarly look at this specific tone of the question of the essay the number of old ho old age homes are increasing and what is the reason for this and is it good or bad to keep old people in old age homes so here you can understand essays have become more analytical more analytical okay at the same time here thesis antithesis that means analyze critically analyze you can do these essays you can give different different arguments okay which are supporting as well as which are going against the topic so i think you have now observed that essay topics since 2020 are no longer direct direct essay topics nahi hai theek hai then some a uh, topic related to music was there and can it help us in life under employment se related ek topic and then health se related ek topic one thing to understand is that the number of choice of the topics which have been given those are also more so you can say that if you observe from the year of 2020 nabad is trying to replicate rbi's exam pattern in context of essay writing the essays are being more little bit analytical maybe even philosophical okay so therefore the difficulty of the essay writing or essay topics is also increasing let's move to the recent years of the 2021 and 2022 ye recent hai what has happened here in 2021 the pattern exam pattern has changed let let us see what topics are there simple contribution of tourism sector in india okay social media se related ek topic diversity at workplace and school dropouts now you will say sir these are direct topics no wonder these are direct topics but try to understand look at these topics these topics are micro topics from economic and social issues as well as agriculture ye main main direct agriculture se ya fir economic social issues se related topics nahi hai for example diversity at workplace okay so here i feel that you should have overall general understanding as well as a broad mindset while writing the essays at the same time your comprehension skills your reading habits okay your answer writing habits that would be checked a lot because i think here the essays dynamic 
द डायनेमिक नेचर ऑफ एसेज इज अगेन यर इंप्रूव देन द लास्ट इयर्स द प्रीवियस इयर्स से भी यहां पर थोड़ा ऐसे और डायनेमिक हो गया है ओके देन कम्स टू द इयर ऑफ 2022 मैन्युफैक्चरिंग सेक्टर से एक डायरेक्ट क्वेश्चन रेलवेज वर्सेस रोडवेज बेटर वे फॉर द ट्रांसपोर्ट ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर प्रोडक्ट्स दिस वाज बिकॉज दिस वाज एन इंपॉर्टेंट न्यूज इन द ईयर ऑफ 2022 ठीक है एजुकेशन इज एलिनेटिंग यूथ्स फ्रॉम एग्रीकल्चर सिंपल देख लो जरा कैसे टॉपिक ब्यूटीफुल पूछा है and then climate changed and its detail impact so here you can understand one thing and we can analyze one thing that asset topics are becoming more dynamic in nature okay and at the same time the periphery of the topics which are asked in nabard exam though that has become more wider matlab kya koi bhi topic dur ka usse related aise pucha ja sakta hai nabard ke exam hai to bas agriculture se related aise aa jayega nahi those days have passed okay Here we finish our SA topics. Now let us discuss Presi topics. Very very simple to discuss Presi topics. 2018, 2019, and 2020. The pattern was the Presi Presi passage was given. Out of the same passage, you had to write a Presi, and you have to also solve the questions which were related to the reading comprehension. Okay, but in 2021, as the pattern has changed, you could see now no more reading comprehension is asked. So therefore, direct. Presi paragraphs are given. What in context of paragraphs? Look at the topics. 2018, the topic was NABARD Act of 1981. Agricultural sector and the scenario in the country that was the topic in 2019. Passage was given. In 2020, mobile phones and their effects on health that was the topic. Okay. In 2021, again the Presi topics became more dynamic and more difficult. The first topic related to Presi in 2021 exam pattern change and look at the topic uncertainty. and stress management related to it okay then comes electric vehicles okay that was a topic in the recent year of 2022 so overall if i see pressy passages their uh, their difficulty in comprehension that has also increased okay ye tha aapke pressy ke bare mein then let's discuss the letter writing letter writing very easy to spot look at the year of 2018 2019 agar aap dhyan se dekhoge simple letter that you are a farmer you want to request something to write a letter to the zonal officer requir uh, requiring damage of the crops similarly write a letter to request your enrollment in any abc schemes such as pm kisan mandan yojana that was till 2019 in 2020 you could see overall the letters also changed look at here the first letter it is a detailed account of excursion including the itinerary matlab kya ek detailed formal letter has been asked the second letter was just a formal letter to request a loan and the third letter was informal one a letter to daughter who is doing her phd in uk okay so options are given for the letters but at the same time periphery of the topics of the letter has been increased okay now look at here 2021 and 2022 now the letters also have become very difficult look at the topic the first letter is to write a letter to the editor stressing importance of developing the sports infrastructure for the future olympians then letter to a credit card company requesting the change in your residential address village dispensary is very in bad condition so also write a letter to your block development officer and also write a letter to a to a local authority for improving your local health uh, facility okay look at all these topics by observing only you have understand that all the topics are actually difficult okay also the subject matter of these topics in the letter these have changed first topic is related to something else the second topic is related to credit card company the third is related to uh, governance okay similarly in 2022 again the topics here if you see these are also difficult the first topic was related to complaining of established furniture company that whatever product i received that is not of the size so please replace it the second letter was to congratulate your manager that he has helped uh, for his promotion and he has helped in your development and your career growth also and the third letter was letter to the secretary of the residential welfare association for a disaster response procedure or review of your society all the three different letters three different sub subjects therefore i'll see i'll say that the difficulty of the letter has much more improved uh, improved 
नो मोर डिरेक्ट लेटर राइटिंग सब्जेक्ट आर गिवन जैसे कि कंप्लेट के रिलेटेड फार्मर को एक कंप्लेट करनी है वो लेटर लिखो दो डेज हैव गॉन नाउ अब लेटर्स देखो कैसे डिफिकल्ट पूछे गए हैं आपको ये लेटर बहुत ध्यान से पढ़ना पड़ेगा क्वेश्चन को टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट व्हाट एक्चुअली आई हैव टू इंक्लूड इन माय पैसेज और इन द बॉडी ऑफ माय लेटर ओके ओवरऑल इफ यू सी दिस हियर वी एंड आवर इंग्लिश दैट इज पेपर वन जनरल इंग्लिश डिस्क्रिप्टिव एंसर राइटिंग पार्ट वी एंड इन वॉट डू वी अंडरस्टैंड इयर थ्रू ओवरऑल एनालिसिस ऑफ द डिस्क्रिप्टिव इंग्लिश ओके वी अंडरस्टैंड ओनली वन थिंग द वन थिंग टू अंडरस्टैंड इज दैट द इंग्लिश Answer writing, you cannot take this subject for granted. Why? You need to get more than seventy plus marks in this English descriptive. And if you do that, you will definitely have your name in the selection list. Okay. Second thing, this is a prerequisite for your selection. मतलब क्या? This is not a game changer, but rather a prerequisite. आपको कुछ भी करके इसमें अच्छे मार्क्स लाने ही होंगे. Compulsory. अगर इसमें अगर आपको अच्छे मार्क्स नहीं मिले so there is no chance okay let's move to the mcq part of esi and ard in that let's see esi mcqs okay as i already told you till 2020 65 mcqs in total were asked 30 mcqs from esi and 35 mcqs from ard theek hai ye baat to pata chali aapko so look at this esi mcqs in total 30 mcqs are here if you observe them the black part which i have given you okay the black part which i have given you these are two marker question and the red part which i have given you these are one marker question okay so here if you observe what is the trend which you observe simple the importance of reports government schemes government campaigns initiatives all the reports indices pib current affairs this is always important for phase 2 very very important almost more than 70% syllabus of phase 2 the exam questions also match from these topics only look at here throughout the year you can see it and the other analysis which you can do is that the static questions were earlier asked but now they are no longer asked pehle static question mcqs mein puchte the esi section mein i am talking about esi section but now no longer this mcqs are asked ठीक है अब ये एमसीक्यूज नहीं पूछते वो चला गया वो दौर चला गया तो अब पूछते क्या यू विल आस्क दैट देन व्हाट डू दे आस्क सिंपल दे आस्क यू मोर क्वेश्चंस व्हिच आर पैराग्राफ बेस्ड क्वेश्चंस ठीक है तो आपको वो गवर्नमेंट्स फॉर एग्जांपल लुक एट हियर सेवन क्वेश्चंस केम फ्रॉम टू मार्कर्स एंड फाइव क्वेश्चंस केम एज अ वन मार्कर इन टोटल 12 क्वेश्चन व्हाट इट मींस फोर पैराग्राफ्स वेयर देयर एंड आउट ऑफ फोर पैराग्राफ्स ईच पैराग्राफ हैड थ्री क्वेश्चंस फोर थ्री जो ट्वेल्व ये टैली हो गई देखो यहां पर तो वॉट दे आर डूइंग इज दैट नाबार्ड नाउ इज नॉट गिविंग यू एमसीक्यू क्वेश्चन फॉर फेज टू एग्जाम नॉट इन सिंगल लाइनर ओके सिंगल लाइनर एमसीक्यूज फॉर नाबार्ड आर इन ओनली फेज वन इन फेज टू यू विल बी गिवन पैराग्राफ एंड बेस्ड ऑन दैट पैराग्राफ थ्री क्वेश्चन टू क्वेश्चन वुड बी देर ओके सो डिफिकल्टी ऑल्सो हैज इन इनक्रीज ओके सो डिफिकल्टी हाउ हैज इनक्रीज इन कंटेक्स ऑफ ई एस आई इन डेप्थ क्वेश्चन विल बी आस्ट statistics and data also would be asked in detail okay so you will say that ki upar upar se karke jata hu government scheme ko it would be of no use okay this is the overall analysis which we can plot okay let's move to ard if we see ard mcqs as i told you 35 mcqs from ard okay black colored whatever questions here you could see these are two markers red color are one marker what do we observe in ard it's very simple if here in ard current questions also as well as static questions both are asked okay so here also the pattern has changed in a way no direct questions like phase 1 exam okay that was only the direct questions were only asked previous 2020 in 2021 and 2022 what is observed they give you a paragraph and on that paragraph two to three questions are there okay so what is the trend analysis if you see in context of ard it's very simple nabard flagship nabard flagship schemes ard reports government schemes are the important topics here see here there has been no change always one or more questions are asked throughout the years now static part syllabus what is important agronomy is important static part theek hai agroclimatic zone is also important seeds is important 
and now comes the main source okay if you observe very carefully this table for two markers also and one marker also if you observe animal husbandry becomes a very important topic frequently see here six questions what it means in 2022 one passage was on poultry and second passage was on swine pigs okay poultry se teen question ek passage se puche the aur swine ke upar teen question puche the dusre passage mein okay 3 to the 6 six questions and that also for two markers 12 marks here so try to understand animal husbandry important chapter forestry important chapter fisheries this is also important chapter irrigation important chapter soil sciences is also important chapter and horticulture is also important chapter cropping systems and farming systems is also very very important chapter so this whatever red color light i have lines i have uh, drawn on the table you have to understand these are important chapters which will confirm your selection in nabard phase 2 mcq exam okay do not leave them rural development of panchayati raj this would the questions would be directly from government schemes and pib current affairs okay i hope you understood the pattern of the ard and esi mcqs okay earlier 65 mcqs were asked okay now as descriptive answer writing was added in the year of 2021 that 65 number has reduced to 30 in number okay what did we observe in oral analysis of the esi and ard mcqs simple no direct questions and passage based questions where concepts also are asked which are which are having moderate or higher difficulty and data and statistics also is asked in depth for example i'll give you an example floor spacing puchi gayi thi swine ke liye floor spacing puchi gayi thi now you will say sir itna detail kaise yaad rakhe floor spacing vagare okay so the shortcut to that is you don't have to cover all the topics you have to only cover the important topics which i mentioned okay cropping system farming systems animal husbandry forestry fishery irrigation water resources soil science horticulture okay these are the important topics from which a detailed questions we can expect in the year of 2023 okay then comes esi and ard descriptive the game changer of the nabard phase 2 exam why i am calling it game changer first to understand in 2018-2019 ESI ARD was not there okay it was added in the year of 2021 okay in 2021 when the ESI and ARD descriptive part was added automatically the cutoff reduced Matlab kya? students couldn't manage or maybe they were not ready to write the descriptive answers related to ESI and ARD section okay now if you see in 2021 what questions were asked the green part is ard and the blue part is esi okay cross breeding ka advantage disadvantage was asked okay social forestry components objective was asked drip irrigation advantages disadvantages was asked okay cross breeding question was of course compulsory this was from ard in 2021 for esi compulsory question was msp for 15 marks a wto related question was for 10 marks and farmers dependency on non-institutional sources for financing a very important topic that was also for 10 months so here out of these six questions here you have to solve any two and from from ard and here also you have to solve any two from esi similarly in 2022 observe very carefully pm matse sampada yojana compulsory question 15 marks national rural livelihood mission objective components 10 marks Social forestry 10 marks. Now observe very carefully. Here also social forestry was asked. Here also social forestry was asked. So repeated. So now we observed forestry, an important chapter. As I told you, that forestry is the important chapter. You never know in next exam, agroforestry may be the question. Okay. From this, you have to solve any two questions. Then comes globalization. Globalization PD, uh, and its effect on the Indian economy. Compulsory question tha ESI mein. PDS. Public distribution system, hai, government's role, and what are the lacunas? SI question. Tha. And social infrastructure is a prerequisite for inclusive growth. This was an analytical question again for 10 marks. Here also you have to solve any. So, what do we understand by observing all these descriptive questions? First thing is that ESI and ARD descriptive questions, NABAD is replicating the pattern of RBI exam. 
एनालिटिकल क्वेश्चन आर देर ओके ऑल्सो यू शुड हैव कंसेप्चुअल क्लैरिटी एज वेल एज एंसर राइटिंग प्रैक्टिस ओके द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द क्वेश्चन द आर्ग्यूमेंट प्रेजेंटेड ओके देन एग्जाम्पल्स विच आर बैकिंग दोज आर्ग्यूमेंट्स ऑल दैट यू हैव टू मेन्शन इन युअर एंसर एंड स्ट्रक्चर इट केयर फुली ओके द कॉम्पिटिशन ऑल्सो देर फोर हैज बीन इंक्रीजिंग इयर बाय इयर फॉर नाबार्ड ग्रेड ए एग्जाम ओके ओवरऑल वॉट डिड वी लर्न इन अवर ओवरऑल ट्रेंड एनालिसिस ओके the trend of the overall nabard exam has changed to become more analytical and dynamic in nature therefore the difficulty has increased and as difficulty has increased your cut off has dropped samajh gaya 2021 20 mein cut off kyun niche gir gaya kyunki analytical part add kiya gaya nabard ke exam pattern mein sath hi sath mein exam mein jo question puche gaye the questions which were they became dynamic and therefore the difficulty also was ओके ओवरऑल टेक अवेज फ्रॉम अवर ट्रेंड एनालिसिस एक बार टेक अवेज देखते इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज डायनेमिक टॉपिक्स आर आस्ट फॉर एस एंड प्रेसी ऑलवेज रिमेम्बर दैट डू नॉट टेक इट फॉर ग्रांटेड इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज दैट इज जनरल इंग्लिश पेपर वन आपके नाबार्ड फेज टू एग्जाम का डू नॉट टेक इट फॉर ग्रांटेड डू प्रैक्टिस एंसर राइटिंग फॉर एस ए फॉर प्रेसी प्रैक्टिस इट वेल ओके एंड इट इज अ स्कोरिंग सेक्शन इफ यू वॉन्ट टू क्लियर नाबार्ड एग्जाम very easily this is a go to ticket therefore i am saying it is a prerequisite for your selection esi and ard mcqs no direct questions are there theek hai one liner phase one exam ke jaise bilkul nahi hote hai paragraph based questions which are difficult in nature theek hai which we saw in the year of 2022 esi and ard descriptive mein kya dekha hai humne nabard is moving towards rbi's exam pattern both static and dynamic questions are there okay both static as well as dynamic for example in 2021 compulsory question from ard was cross breeding but in 2022 we could see it's a government scheme pm matsya sampada yojana so both static and current becomes important it is a game changer but the difficulty is higher so now we understood the overall trend analysis even for the phase 2 exam so phase 2 exam ka bhi trend analysis humko humne cover kar liya i hope that now you have the picture of what phase 2 exam of nabard is all about what are the exam pattern changes and how overall trend of the exam has increased overall i'll say the difficulty of course has increased the competition overall has increased okay so therefore i hope you are still preparing for nabard exam i wish you best of luck and please utilize this phase 2 trend analysis for your preparation thank you